Jupiter, can I still send you pictures of myself even if I'm underage? Because I'm only 13. It's up to you, sweetie, if you want to, because I don't mind if you do. Jupiter, TikTok's most dangerous predator. Let's see what this is hitting on. Nova Online, Johnny Elbows, Leslie Clark, Jupiter. This is the definition of a nightmare blunt rotation. Over the last few months, I've been taking a look at freaks on TikTok and on YouTube, and to be honest, I've had a lot of fun doing that. It pains me to admit this, but the TikToker known as Jupiter makes Nova Online look like a complete normal human being. I'm a hybrid between vampire and werewolf. Y'all, bro, yo, chat, be honest with me. Wait, how do y'all think predators work? Do y'all think they they can never pull up, pull an adult, and they so chopped that they ask decides, nah, okay, I gotta, I gotta aim for people below my age because I'm thinking, bro, no sane person is gonna find this person attractive. Hybrid. My dad's a vampire. My blood dad's a vampire. My blood mom's a werewolf. Meaning, I wound up with both their powers. So when I first got on with you, my skin started to itch. That's the one thing about us magical creatures. When we actually interact with others of our kind, we get itchy. I mean, it's one thing being a predator, and it's another thing being cringy as a predator, bruh. This is a y'all like y'all. I feel like y'all should have knew this guy was gonna be weird. Type of person we're dealing with, someone who believes they're half wolf, half vampire. If you end up enjoying the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. But let's just jump right into this. Who's this Jupiter guy? Everyone's talking. About? No, he kind of looks like that one nigga off of Stranger Things. You know the one everyone be like liking this shit. I think well, I forgot whose brother it was. About Jupiter's a 25 year old TikToker from Idaho. His content mainly revolves around lip singing and just posting extremely weird and cringe content to the platform that is TikTok. Shocking. I vividly remember the first time I seen this guy on my For You page on Instagram. I was just scrolling through reels as I do, and one of his videos popped up, and I thought to myself, what a strange guy. After reading the comments under that post, I got curious and smelled a juicy video coming up. The yeah, I know Eddie. He looked like Eddie Munson, bruh. More and more, I looked into who he was and the things he's. No, is it Eddie Munson? No, no. It's the, it's the other. I don't know. It's one of them. It's one of them niggas. The the, the one that had a crush on the on the girl that I on the I, nigga. What are them shits, bro? They all look the same. He's been accused stuff and admitted to everything. No, not Eddie Munson. Up. Steve, Steve, Steve. It's very interesting how all of this blew up, and a big reason was someone called the Linda Binda. And in case you guys have never heard of this person, this is a TikToker with around 200,000 followers, and the TikToker decided to have Jupiter on her show to troll him, to mess with him. I've watched the six parts on Linda's TikToker with Jupiter. Linda's just messing with him, and he clearly doesn't notice, but his answer seems to be honest, and he means what he's saying. I mean, just look at this slip of him admitting to fantasizing about any people's life. What's your deepest, darkest fantasy? My darkest fantasy is to watch all those who wronged me die by my hand. That's my darkest one. It makes me want, it just, it's just one of my darkest fantasies of doing. I want to kill everybody who's wronged me. My bad. No, actually, no, fuck you, nigga. I, no, the, the, the thing is, I'm not, I'm not really going to get scared. I'm not going, you, you think that, you think that a nigga built like this going to put fear in my heart? Yeah. How the hell is he going to kill me? <laughs> By his titties? Oh. Yeah, that's the one. Hamburglar? I want to kill those who have wronged me as a person. I can make those people disappear. There's places out here in Idaho where I can bury bodies and no one would think to look. Is that not illegal? Have you done it before? Mm, not really done it, but actually thought of it. Yo, this nigga needs to be put on a list, bro. I know he's already probably put on the child predator list. But I mean like prisoner shit, cause that that ain't sliding, bruh. There are some people I want to bury out somewhere in Melba where no one will ever think to look. You know what? That's a complete rational thing to think about on the daily. One of your biggest fantasies for that to be up there. For someone to ask you, yo, what's your biggest fantasy? You'd be like, I want to end people. I want to destroy everyone. Yep, can we lock you away for life? You are clearly a danger to society. The most disturbing part of everything is that he means this. This isn't some kind of character. This is just him being honest because he has no filter. He just says whatever he's thinking, whatever he wants. And that could be a good thing, okay? At the proper setting at the proper time. But it could also land in situations like these. Where if something does happen and he's a suspect of that situation. Now, I'm not going to lie, chat. I'm going to play Roblox after this. Now, there's a video of him admitting to wanting this. Hopefully not, but if- Yo, chat, I don't know. Another thing, y'all gotta realize, bro. Attractive people don't be really feeling themselves like that. It's always the ugly niggas that always want to, want to take good pictures of yourself. Buddy, I don't know if you know this. You have no good angles. You're chopped, buddy. You're chopped. Oh, God, you gotta stop.
if something ever, ever ends up happening near his area and he's a suspect and they knew the person, it's over for him. Because there's evidence of him wanting to do this. And in detail, he knows where to bury them. He knows where they have the least amount of populations and people where he can go. Don't get me wrong, I have people who I don't like and I don't really care if they live or die, right? But that does not mean I'm going to go out of my way to admit something like this and go into so much detail. Yeah, you know, if I see my biggest op, if I see my biggest hater in real life, I'm a- Stop, bro. He just listened to a lot of Lil Durk. Let bro slide. Pull out my AK-47 and my ray gun and start shooting. And it's just a huge red flag. Sophia, I know that you want this badly. He really recorded this shit. He saw the way he looked. He said, yes, she gonna like this. She probably gonna get wet to this. She gonna love me. Oh, bro, this gotta be TOS. And if you like what you see, then take it. Because this is your way of knowing that we're gonna date. So, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, bro. Snapchat gotta ban you. I don't know if Snapchat has bannable offenses. Yo, any girl in here, ten million dollars, you gotta hit this. Y'all doing it? This seems like this could be used in a Netflix documentary in like five years, the TikTok killers. And I want my royalties, okay? I wanna be on that Netflix special. This guy just incriminates himself in like sixty ten million, I'm giving him the time of his life. Seconds. On that very same video slash interview that I'm just playing that he was doing with the girl, they talked about the pedophile allegations around him and what he's done. They want us to address them again i was set up i was really set up i was set up i was tired i was high on nicotine and i wasn't thinking straight have you stopped talking to how your ass gonna get set up with a minor the only thing you gotta ask them niggas how old you are i, I swear pedos would do everything except it just admitting they ass is weird to minors on tiktok yes i have i stopped i quit doing that there were some who contacted me on uh, on Discord, but I but I kind of blocked them and left their chats because I didn't want to be kept being set up. So I said it would be better if we all stayed friends until they're older, but until then, we're just going to remain friends, you know? Instead, I was high and exhausted at the time, so I wasn't thinking clearly. You cannot make this shit up. He claims to be high on nicotine and super tired. Now, I can't really speak about being high on nick because I don't smoke, but what I could relate to is being tired quite often, to be honest. Wait, so people that are high on nicotine, they have higher chances of being pedos? Is that what he's trying to say? So with his logic, nigga, if you vape, bruh, Yo, I say it has a 30% chance of, of liking minors. That, that shit makes no sense, nigga. I think most people can. <laughs> There's been times where I'm up till 2 a.m. editing or recording and I'm minutes away from just passing out on my desk, but I have never thought once of DMing or interacting with minors on Discord or anywhere else because I am too quote unquote tired. That's legitimately the worst excuse anyone facts. could have. I was facts. so tired, I just. <laughs> Not I just facts. started talking to minors, you know, as you do. I don't care if they're 14. Twitter, can I still send you pictures of myself even if I'm underage? Because I'm only 13. What do y'all think he's gonna say? What do y'all think he's gonna say? I, I want to hear if I want to see if y'all predictability, predictabilities in the minds is, is like y'all, y'all going, y'all think he's gonna say yes? Do you plan on training me in if I say yes? No, I would never. I lower the age consent all the way to 16 if you guys wanted me to. Oh. I was thinking, yo, I. It's one thing saying yes. The type of shit this nick, this bitch ass nigga just said is worse than yes. Nick, nick all, all they asked is was, you want me to send you pictures? Nigga was having the whole dialogue in his head. You know what? We might as well just lower the age of consent. Nigga, all they said was, yo, do you want a picture? This nigga might was like, you know what? I just want everyone to know I'm I'm willing to accept all pictures. Weird ass. Or I even change it to 15 if you guys wanted me to. Yeah, it just happens. It just happens. I was just so tired. So I reached for my phone, opened the Discord, scrolled through the conversation, started talking hot and spicy with the 12 year old, and now I'm here. My bad. No, that's not an excuse. That has to be one of the worst lies or excuses anyone could tell. You're tired, but you're not tired enough to whip your dick out and talk to minors. And from here on out, things just go to shit for Jupiter. The TikToker Linda used to have Jupiter on her page quite often since it was the main draw to her page. 
Wait, chat, what is the lowest age of consent in America? Like, what state and what age is it? And one of the first videos of them together got over 8 million views, which is crazy. They built a quote unquote relationship over a few weeks. Well, to be more specific, a one side relationship, and Jupiter actually thought he was dating Linda. I'm trying so hard not to laugh out of, out of joy for this, but uh, Linda? Yes? Will you become my queen? Will you become my mate for life? Oh my gosh, I would, I would love to. I'm literally on all fours right now. <laughs> yeah, where do you want to get married? That's what I want to know. Oh, I don't know. Anywhere we can do it under a bridge. People say that vampires and werewolves can't go out during the day. Yeah, we can. We can. We can go out in the light. I'm a special breed, meaning I'm a daywalker, meaning I'm able to walk in the sunlight. All of this turned kind of sour when people started exposing Jupiter as a pedophile. Ever since then, Jupiter has been showing up less and less and less. He started posting to his second account because the first one got banned. The last time he posted to TikTok was on July 2nd of 2023. It's been almost a month and no word from him. Hey guys, it's me, Linda. I wanted to come on here and give you guys a quick update about... Respectfully speaking, your chat, is this a... Like, what's the... What's the... What's the, whatchamacallit? What's the, is this like a Chris from Mr. Beast? Jupiter. Well, he is currently off the grid. And that is because, to put it lightly, he's a child predator. Along with being a cheater, a liar, a groomer, a narcissistic psychopath, and just an overall disgusting human being. Jupiter, can I still send you pictures of myself even if I'm underage? Because I'm only 13. It's up to you, sweetie, if you want to, because I don't mind. 13, nigga, that's worse than when the nigga says, let's, let's lower the shit to 15. Do you plan on turning me in if I say yes? No, I would never. I'd lower the age of consent all the way to 16 if you guys wanted me to. Or I'd even change it to 15 if you guys wanted me to. That's still crazy, By the bro. forking way, keep in mind that this man is literally 25 years old. And if you thought that was bad, just wait until I show you everything that he has said and done behind the scenes. The fact that the girl stated that she was 14 years old very clearly while he... Yeah, no, that's that, that's all to the video, but yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, all the predators are low key on TikTok nowadays or some shit. But yeah, YouTube, that does include the video. If you're watching this, make sure you guys join us on Discord, catch us on Twitch, all that good stuff. Make sure you guys subscribe, watch us for life. Love y'all, and peace.